Hi loving friends, Chris here from Wacky Light. How are you guys all doing today? I bet you guys are enjoying today. It's a beautiful, wonderful day and I'm grateful to be alive. I woke up with my eyes open and no tag on my toe. Breathing in the fresh air, loving it. So right now I'm down here on Burmy Mountain. I'm at the creek kind of coming down right on the back end of my house. It's a beautiful place to come after a client, rough day, walking the dogs. Just kind of energize myself. So I'm just standing here in the middle of a creek on a log with my dogs and came to me and Chris like, I want you to do another video on shielding and protecting. So I did a previous video on shielding and protecting uh, and I used a bunch of Lemurian light language symbols around in your auric field and within you to help shield and protect you. Even though these symbols are great and wonderful and I highly recommend them, especially when you're first starting out and you're waking up and you're being attacked from all areas, they're great things to kind of come in and help and assist you. I want to show you some shielding and cleansing systems that you can do for yourself from your own innate ability inside of yourself so you're not relying on anything outside of yourself it's you we are great divine beings we're goddesses and goddess and and the dark wants us to think we're really really small like we're this little tiny ant well ants may be small but they're also very very powerful and if they work together in a collective they're very very strong and so i want to remind you just how powerful and amazing you really are okay so some cleansing techniques that I do if I'm dealing with negative energy. For one thing, I'm out and about of the mall or something before I go in the mall for one thing right away is I do a Kenyuku, we call it in Japanese Kenyuku, dry bathing. So number one, Kenyuku, kind of going down your arms and brushing like this all the way down our legs. Inside of our leg, outside of our leg, all the way down. And then what we do after is we go like this and we push their energy away and we push our energy towards us. And we zip ourselves up and we throw away the key and then we keep our energy within our own energy field bubble you can do this for yourself just visualize it also number two a way you connect to creator how do you visualize curse some people visualize a big ball of white light around you any way you can see this kind of light or energy that you use while you connect with creator around you can help shield and protect your auric field Three, another way to cleanse yourself and purify yourself as well, coming down in nature like I'm doing right here, being around a creek. Water is life force energy, the air is life force energy, the trees are healing. Just ask the trees for healing and they will give you healing. They love to share wisdom and Visualize your roots when they're deep down in Mother Earth, connecting to Mother Earth's other cords, these other ether internet cords within here. And just visualize yourself being cleansed and purified and just anything leaving from your body that you picked up through the day or through your sleep and let it just be washed from your being. Another one I like to do for is a shower. So when you're in the morning in the shower, you kind of just visualize you're in the shower and I visualize that star, uh, Stargate thing where those beams come and they come up and they kind of cleanse me and cleanse me down. The water kind of cleanses my whole being and just takes everything away from me. Another one I really like to do five is a waterfall over me. Just visualize a waterfall pulling all over my head all the way down my being, all through the inside of my being, all the way down. It's cleansing and purifying my aura, my physical, my emotionally, mental, all areas of my being are being cleansed and purified. But a really, really good one that I like to do is also visualize yourself as a, as a pole or a tall tree, one of the tallest trees in the world. Maybe a, a, those red cedar, yellow cedar, sequoia trees, or big Douglas firs, these big trees. But we're not going to have any roots or any kind of branches at the top. We're just going to have a straight beam of light going all the way down into Mother Earth, connecting to Mother Earth's center and her core center. And also this is going to go all the way up, all the way up, but we're going to connect to the heavens. Up. And this is a strong beam. And anything that may be sticking on it, just kind of look at it. Just kind of close your eyes and visualize this white beam. If you see anything dark on it, just flick it off like you're flicking a tick off. Click, click, click. So maybe something's a little more in there, just visualize Creator's hand going in there and pulling it out. Just maybe go through this daily and visualize this white tube, this white beam, always being cleansed and purified and looking at it. Okay, another one that I really, really like to do is also the one where you think about a little man and you put him in some water and he grows up. Well, it's the same thing with you. Visualize light to yourself. Call in light to yourself. Visualize this light and just, you may see this entity above you, this entity may be really, really big and it's hovering over you like, oh, I'm so small, I can't take on this ending, it's just too big for me. But right away, anyway, I want you to just like, all of a sudden visualize this light's coming inside of you. And just visualize yourself getting bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and bigger. Maybe you're the size of the planet now, maybe you're the size of the galaxy, maybe the size of our universe, and then you look down on this little negative entity that looks so big over you before, and you're like, 
Uh, and you kind of just blast white light at it and it's gone. So we are a lot bigger than we give ourselves credit for. And you know, one thing I want to also say, the best shielding of all is Creator. Calling on Creator. And you know, He's not outside of us. He's inside of us. He's in our heart. He's in our core. He's in all our being and every cell and every atom. And all you really got to do is call on Creator and say, Creator, I ask you now to cleanse and purify my area. Cleanse and purify if there's any toxicities, chemicals, pesticides, any harmful things in the air, residues, mercuries, anything like that. I ask you to cleanse and purify my water, my area, my zone, my food, my life, my clothing, my everything. Cleanse and purify and bask me over with your white light of love. Feel the white light of the Creator coming over you, shielding you, protecting you, and guiding you and loving you. Feel the loving strength of Creator throw your heart. And the best one is, is when you just forgive people and have no more hatred, have no more anger, have no more resentment, just let it all go. Let it all go. This beam of white light just goes around your heart and it just blows through your heart and it shields your whole body. It's the Creator's love shielding system. It is amazing to tap into. There's 33 portals in our heart. And so when you open all these 33 portals, Sending more love and sending mu into your heart center. Wow, light language is a very powerful system. Even just uttering the language alone casts out negative entities all around you. And we can all speak light language. It's inside of us. Every single person on this planet can speak some some sort of light language. It is very, very powerful. It's your own innate language shielding, activating, blueprint activating, passion purpose device system, man. It's just amazing to use when you tap in and turn it on and step into that vortex of creation of who you really are. So basically, shielding. You really don't need anything outside yourself. You really don't. Maybe I, I offer these symbols at the beginning for some of my clients, it's knees and una to come over you and shield and protect you and heal your aura and stuff like that while we do the healing sessions so that you're not being attacked to get pulled back into the darkness and then you're swimming up river while you're trying to heal well this thing kind of by symbols actually protect you while we do the healing so that you move forward with ease and grace you still kind of go through like maybe a storm phase some people do but you dance through it and have a little fun but it's not as bad because the dark's not trying to pull you back as much because you are shielded but right now you have your own shielding system okay you're a powerful being from source energy I see your greatness. I see your divinity. I see you achieving all your dreams and all your expectations. and Everything that you've ever wanted to achieve in your life, you're going to do it. You are destined for success. And you standing your power and sharing your gifts with the whole world benefits not only me, but everybody in this whole wide world is benefited from you standing in your power. You are an infinite source being, an infinite source wisdom. See your truth. Claim your power. If you want to know what it feels like to be empowered, there's definition of empowered, then just say yes and, and feel this empowerment inside yourself. No more staying small. All right? Rise up, great ones. Like I said, visualize that little, I don't know whether they're quite out, but you put them in the water and they whoop, grow your boyfriend or something. Or <laughs> Anyways, just be that light and grow really big up and over the dark entities and have a lot of fun in life. Bring joy to yourself. And if you're in joy and you're in love, dark cannot come near you. It stays away from you. Be in that high vibrational, high frequency love. Breathe in the life force energy that's all around you. Come down the creek and wash your hands with some mud. Just cleanse yourself. Get tuned in with nature. Get tapped into your body. You know, also do some healings. Look on yourself. Heal blocks from the past. Maybe there's something that dark can stick to that you did in a past life. Maybe, for example, you might have hurt someone or something, some kind of karma happened to you or some kind of shock or a dark entity stuck to you on this past life. Well, I find these things as well and I release these things in a past life so that the dark can't no longer stick to you on this as well. So it's also good maybe find some roots and things like that where darks could cling to or resentments. Like I say, even if you get rid of all your resentments, I work with some clients who worked on everything this lifetime everything and, and that so I couldn't find anything to work on this lifetime but they had a bunch of stuff to work on in a past lifetime 
and this is where the dark enemies are sticking to and attaching to. So sometimes it's good to focus on that. But also remember, Creator's Light knows no time and space, and it can go everywhere and anywhere, and you can send any versions of yourself and shield and protect yourselves. And just ask Creator to guide you and protect you and lead you on a path of empowerment and full potential, because it's your gift to be in your power. Woo!